Yo, yo, yo You're in tune to the sounds of Herma Puma Alongside man like Ryder Shafiq Ryder Shafiq This is our name Space to Breeze Space UK US Worldwide Yo Give me little space to breathe It's time to sow my seed The night my queen I'm living these broken dreams Outspokenly with potent themes Please approach me For these streets are cold and mean Let I paint the scene Red, gold and green I grow my hands and heart stays clean Maybe I'm just a dreamer Eating fresh dates from a dinner The plates I create Everybody, no uh, Matt here from around square uh, gonna do a little product launch video for you with the uh, stuff that we're dropping in our January 2024 uh, product launch. So it's gonna be a bit of a big video, I think. I think it's gonna be a big month, big year. I uh, got tons of stuff going on. So we're gonna get right into it. Um, can start with uh, uh, probably the thing that I've been playing with the most. Why don't I do that? Uh, so I have been playing the heck out of Check Key lately. And uh, I've fallen back in love with the Delrin sets in particular, and it's thanks to these guys. So these are some new paddle-shaped ends that we have uh, done for the Remshock check key. And uh, yeah, it's like really, it's totally uh, opened my eyes to like a new style of play and a new feel for the check key. So you can see in this setup, I have gotten rid of the uh, accent that I typically would rock in my, in my Delrin check key. Uh, that add the little weight at the end, uh, and I've uh, I've reduced the slack that's in there as well. So I have very little slack. Uh, but what it, you get out of that is a more probably like a more uh, conventional Russian style set, uh, where you have these longer end paddles, and you can get some leverage there and just flick stuff around, make it all nice and springy. Uh, compared to the standard Remshock ends, these guys are. Uh, way wider at the bottom, they're longer, and they flare out like this as well. So uh, they're bigger in every dimension, basically, and uh, yeah, it just really changes the feel of the set, and uh, I've been loving them. I think that you guys are going to love them too. Uh, we've only got them right now in uh, white and black Delrin, uh, so we got two options for you, and I figured, like, rather than, you know, trying to, like, charge more and just, like, sell them as complete sets, uh, I don't have a ton of them. I figured like the best way is actually to just sell them as accent packs. And what I'm going to do is, uh, I know a lot of people have uh, Delrin and acrylic sets of check key kicking around. And some of them are underutilized because people felt that they were too light. Uh, so they've upgraded to metal or they've thrown accents on and they have some like spare stuff. So I, I've decided to, um, I've decided to just sell them as accent packs. And what we're going to do during launch is we're going to uh, put launch pricing back on the Delrin and acrylic Remishok check key sets as well. So if you want to buy an accent pack with these new paddles and uh, and one of the standard sets to put them onto, uh, then you can do that and get a get a deal on it. Yep. Uh, but I know like a lot of people have gotten them like over the like recent months in like Luxax and whatever, and and uh, they're great. But this like really ups the game as far as uh, as far as uh, my experience goes, and I think you guys are going to love them. Uh, we're going to do them as a two plus two accent pack, so two middle beads as well as the two end beads. And that way you get like just like nice aesthetics and a little bit of a chance to experiment with longer length as well if you're mixing them in with a different color of uh, middle beads. So like check this out here. This is a, a brass set of samples that I had done with some Ultim. And I, I always felt it kind of looks funny if you've just got like end beads of one color or one material and the middle beads are all a different color. Uh, so but if you can imagine like a, a brass accent in there, it just kind of ties the middle section aesthetically to the to the end section, makes it look really nice. Uh, so that's why we're doing the two plus two uh, accent pack setup for these guys. Okay. Um, now sticking with the check key, I guess uh, I want to show you these beautiful uh, sets here. So we've got ebony wood Remishok check key, and again we're playing with the setups a little bit. So we've uh, rather than doing straight wood, which I think a lot of people would find fairly light, um, uh, we've added some metal accents on them, and we've also extended the length. So the typical uh, setup that we would sell is uh, 18 middle beads plus two end beads uh, for 20 in total. These guys have 20 middle beads, uh, including the accent. So it's 18 wood plus two metal plus the two end beads. So 18 plus two plus two. And that extra length uh, <clears throat> helps a lot with, you know, basically like keeping the control and keeping them uh, 
like on your fingers rather than sliding out. The the ebony wood doesn't have a lot of uh, grip on it. I mean, you could wax it and get some some uh, extra grip on it, but uh, on its own, it doesn't have a ton of grip. So you do want that that little bit of weight at the end, I think, uh, and the extra length also just helps it to kind of wrap around the fingers and stay in place and to prevent it from flying out on you. Now, with both of these setups, I should mention that uh, uh, the wearability factor kind of goes down. So these are, unless you've got like really big wrists, uh, the 20 beads in the middle plus the two end beads is less wearable for me. It would be like, I'd be swimming in it. Uh, I've got skinny, skinny wrists, so, so who knows? Uh, your mileage may vary, but at any rate, like just as you, you know, as you extend the length, and get a little bit of extra control on the set, you, you might end up with uh, them not fitting on the wrist the same way, fair enough. And with these paddle-shaped paddle, paddle shaped, uh, ends, you can see I've actually removed the, the little uh, eight millimeter bead altogether on these and just stringing them together. Uh, like I, I wouldn't wear this on the wrist, this is this is purely for play, which is honestly, I, I don't typically wear my check key that much anyways. So uh, they more or less live in my pocket so I can just take them and grab them and uh, play with them whenever I want. Um, I should mention, the eight millimeter beads on these sets are the new eight millimeter that has the three millimeter bore. So if you have one of the older sets with a 3.5 millimeter bore, some people have found that if they tie the snake knots too tight, that bead can actually slip off. Uh, that won't happen with these new ones because uh, they've got a thinner bore. And um, actually this is a good segue into some new, uh, the next product, which is some new cords. So this is a 1.2 millimeter Kevlar cord uh, compared to the one millimeter that we used to have. So the uh, 1.2 millimeter cord, it goes with our six millimeter MK Ultras as well as the Remishok Check Key. It's a, uh, and it's just like, just a little bit thicker. It's still fairly easy to thread through all of the beads. Like there's no binding. And even when you're doing the two strands into the lock bead on the, uh, on the six millimeter MK Ultras, that bore is pretty small, but it's still like relatively easy to get the two strands through there. And you just get a little bit of more, more secure setup. Uh, on those six millimeter beads. And uh, I just find it, it feels a little bit more substantial. And if you've got like heavier sets, like the brass, stainless steel, copper, Remishok, check key, you'll find, I, I think that the the, the extra um, robustness of that like slightly thicker cord will give you a little bit more longevity and just make everything feel a little bit more secure. So we're offering that uh, this month. The ebony beads are uh, coming set up on the 1.2 millimeter cord in blue. But we also have black, red, and the yellow natty in this cord, uh, and we're going to be selling those on our in our cord section. Uh, two millimeter hanks, five millimeter, or two millimeter, two meter hanks, five meters, and ten meters. Right. So we uh, got lots of options there. Got another cord for you as well, which is the uh, we call it the K4, the four millimeter Kevlar cord in natty yellow. Um, this cord is uh, designed for uh, Big Larry basically as, a, as an alternative to 550 paracord, which, uh, you know, I always felt that, that uh, the 550 paracord, it, it somehow like it's it's always this like same, what do you say, like some, some, sometimes like I, I wanted something a little bit different, just like basically something with a different feel or something to kind of make the sets feel a little bit more special than just 550 paracord, which is like pretty ubiquitous and you find it in all the craft stores and so on. And this is something truly special. Like like all of our uh, custom cords, this is a custom weave made just for us. It's four millimeters, and it's uh, got good good uh, like uh, what do you say? Like like it's it's a uh, doesn't compact. It's not too soft, but it does really soften nicely when you play with it. Talk to players online who have uh, been using this for a long time. Uh, it has a lot of fans because it softens really nicely, it breaks in, and it just feels really nice on the fingers. Uh, and after you've been playing with it for like a week or so it's just like very smooth nice texture and uh nice and supple and everything so uh, we have that in black already and we decided to add the uh, natty yellow uh, because it's just you know it's the, the most popular color in our kevlar cords all right uh let's see here uh so i was just talking about the wood uh remishocks and so uh, one, one last thing on the wooden remishocks just be aware, like it is a wood material. It's a natural material. It's a little bit less durable than the like space age plastics and the metals, obviously. So you can see in here, like the the bore is 
going straight through there. There's not a lot of thickness around the bead. I've played my own set of these a ton and, and I haven't had any issues with breakage. I have dropped it. Uh, it's like gone sailing through the air quite a number of times, like inside the house, outside the house. I, I haven't had any chipping or anything like cracking. Uh, but in the manufacturing, we did have to reject some uh, some pieces where they were drilling it and it chipped. Uh, and so, so be aware that that's a possibility. Uh, you can like I don't think you have to baby them. Like mine has held up really well, and I don't I don't tend to baby my stuff at all because I want to put it through its paces. But uh, just to be aware that like you know if you're if you're throwing a bunch of hand sanitizer on it and then bouncing it off the sidewalk a bunch. Uh, it's not going to last as long as a titanium set, uh, but it's a different kind of thing. And I've, I just like, I really love the wooden toys and I've been more and more into the, the natural materials lately. So I, uh, I really wanted to do this and I was really impressed with how they turned out. Uh, they play great. They feel great. And it's just like a, a nice alternative to what we have. Okay. So sticking with the wood theme, uh, we've got these beautiful beasts here. These are the Ebony Wood uh, Commons MK Ultras. So we've got the short form and we've got the long form with the tassel. Both of them have a 15 millimeter titanium boss bead and they're strong on the blue K2 Kevlar, two millimeter Kevlar. Now, we did the Milos beads last month and uh, they, uh, they were really popular. People seem to really love them. Uh, I'm really happy with them. I've got a set of my own and I, I wear them and use them all the time. Uh, one thing with the Milos beads, they were designed more for uh, bead counting as opposed to raindrops. So they, they are, were designed with a smaller board to hug the cord more so there was no hot spots on the beads. And that was the, that was the big part of the design of those beads that set them apart from other things that we had. Um, the Commons beads are very nicely rounded so you still don't have a hot spot, but they do have still the standard Commons Three millimeter or 3.5 millimeter yeah 3.5 millimeter board i think uh, <laughs> and uh yeah they consequently they they fall really nicely on the string no binding at all you can hear the clack you can also hear uh, my buddy johnny out back there hammering he's building us a deck right now thanks johnny <laughs> anyways uh, this is uh, this set has been a joy to, to kind of mess with. I haven't claimed my own yet because we don't have a ton of inventory and I didn't want to kind of deprive the rest of you guys. But if any of them don't sell, then I'm definitely going to grab a long form set because I, I love these. I have some traditional Comboloi that are very much the same bead shape, uh, almost the same size as well. But they're on this like really thin cord, which I, which I don't like. Uh, so these are like very much kind of convergent evolution. They're they're getting closer and closer to traditional Comboloi, but they've still got a few of the attributes that uh, that we kind of really value uh, in our products, like the thicker, like stronger cord and the, the, the metal boss, which is kind of a branding thing, but also kind of helps with the control during play and stuff. Okay. So anyways, yeah, the, uh, the long forms can double, double them up, wear them on your wrist, cinch them up. Uh, short form, same deal, but just with one wrap and you can trim the cord off to to suit your preferences or just like tuck it in if you find it in the way. Uh, when I wear the short form ones, I, I just leave it dangling and I kind of like, I end up just playing with it sometimes. Uh, it doesn't bother me, but, but again, everybody's different. Right? Okay, uh, so since I'm talking about the ultras right now already, I'm gonna slide over to these guys right here, which are the chef's special for this month. These are gonna be the uh, nano, uh, chef special MK Ultras. Um, when I was thinking about what to do for the chef special, I was looking around the workroom and, and realized that the nano beads don't get a, enough love these days. I think the reason for that is that they've just been around for a long time. So they're kind of like, like, you know, the, the normal thing that everybody knows is there. And it's like, it's, it's not like the new thing that people are excited about, but I still like really love them. It's, uh, one of my all time favorite sets is uh, a set of copper long form nanos. Uh, and I still I still carry that one around a lot. It's a uh, it's a lovely set, and just like there's something about the bead shape that I really like. There's also a couple of other aspects to it, which is like it's great for for bead counting and uh, raindrops. But um, being that it's a little bit of a longer bead, uh, it means that we can get the same length of a set with fewer beads than something like the uh, the mini sigmas, for example. So we end up being able to produce them for a little bit cheaper and sell them for a little bit cheaper. Uh, so if you're looking for 
uh, a set of MK ultras, and you want to experiment with long form, but uh, you know something like the long form mini sigmas, which are still really popular, are a bit out of your price range. These are going to be on like launch pricing, special pricing for this month, and. Yeah, so just a really nice set to play. I, I like the double boss configuration. Uh, you know, we call it chef special. And if you take me as the chef, like this is just something that I really like. I like the double boss configuration because it gives you that extra control when you're swinging them around from the boss, even on like a, a fairly heavy set, like the like the copper one that I've chosen for myself. Uh, it's, you know, it just gives that extra little bit of control and security when you're swinging it around. And uh, so it's got that. And then what sets it apart from the regular long forms if you're not if you're not familiar basically we've we've taken a long form length of cord and taken just like a few more beads than what we would have on the regular short form of the mk ultras and so we've just kind of strung it up differently with a double boss bead and then when when you put it on your wrist you do end up with I actually find it more comfortable because you end up with more exposed cord there, uh, and you you may not like the look or you may you may prefer the look. I find it just very comfortable because the beads can slide really freely. Um, I also have them in my pocket a lot, and I like having them just kind of hang out of the pocket there, and then you can take them out and start playing with them. Uh, but where the extra cord really comes in nicely is. You can see I've got like about a hand width of cord there. It's It just basically opens up a lot of tricks that would be really hard to do with the standard long form setup. Uh, you can, you know, you can do a, all of your, the rolls, like basically a lot of the, the Larry tricks that you, that you would have uh, a hard time doing if you only had like, you know, this much, this much uh, slack on the line. Uh, if you've got like a whole hand width, you can do like, I don't want to say all of the Big Larry tricks, Big Larry is still more versatile, but this like, it, it takes this from being a thing that you can do like a handful of tricks with to like a full on skill toy where there's like really no ceiling to the creative stuff that you can come up with. So I uh, I think it like the, the play factor is like, is huge with these chef's special setups. Okay, so uh, we got the titanium, brass, uh, copper, stainless steel, as well as uh, the PVD coated titanium op options there. All right. So that's it for the MK Ultras. What else I got here? I got these beauties. So these are our Glow Palm or Glow Delrin um, uh, Dead Eyes. Okay. And it's the same same lovely glow material that we used for our uh, Milo's beads that we launched a couple months back there. <clears throat> uh, really great glow on these compared to like the stuff that I grew up with in the 80s. Uh, the white one has a kind of a greenish glow. It's definitely the brightest, but the other two are definitely not too shabby and they're all really nice. Um, I really love the texture on these. Originally, I wanted a machine finish on them because I like the machine finish on the, the glow material. But uh, when they do the machine finish because of the machining process, they were ending up with this like uh, rim around the edge that had to be kind of uh, smooth, polished out. And so I thought, let's just keep it consistent and polish the whole thing out, uh, but just like a very light polish. So they, they basically eliminated that that ridge. And what we've ended up with is a awesome texture in the middle. It's um it's really smooth, but it almost is like, it's kind of like a silky smooth, almost like like some of our newer sandblasted stuff where you can feel that there's a bit of a texture there, but it's uh it's it's not rough at all. Okay. So I don't know, the the dead eyes, you know, people uh you know, the, every every product has its own fans. Some people actually adore the Delrin Dead Eyes, and they're they're no weight in the pocket, uh, easy to carry around, and you can do tons of tricks with them. Uh, I personally have always found the the heavier metal dead eyes to be like just a bit more stable for the kind of tricks that I do with like the isolations and stuff. Uh, but like as a worry stone or something just to like flip around, kind of do more basic tricks with, uh, I I really enjoy the light ones as well. So um, you know everybody's preference again is different, but but uh, I think the main people the main thing people would be buying these for is the glow factor, and it's like it's pretty intense, especially with the white ones, right? Uh, moving on, I just flashed this beautiful thing in the screen, and this is our newest addition to the Knucklebone lineup. So this is, uh, I'm going to go with the name OG Slim on these. So it's like the original uh, size, so like 2-ish two, two centimeters by 60-ish centimeters, but it's got a deeper contour here. So they, uh, the, the middle section is more like the Slim Mini Knucklebones that we launched last year. Uh, 
I, for the longest time, those were my favorite. Uh, I really like the small, you know, the small size of them. I like how little weight they are in the pocket. Uh, and I just, I just loved playing them. And then I, I picked these up and it was like, it was kind of like going back and finding an old friend or coming back home. And like the size is just so familiar because I spent so much time playing with the original size uh, knuckle bones because for the longest time, that's all we had. Uh, but the, the middle grip, I realized that what, what I loved most about the slim and knuckle bones was that deeper contour in the middle. Uh, it just gives like a little bit more secure grip and no matter what you're doing, it just keeps it locked in place, right? And whoops. Um, yeah, so this is the uh, sandblasted version. We've got a little bit of a different branding. We've got the vertical word mark on these guys. Uh, we have also a polished version and a machine finished version. So depending on your preference, uh, the humidity where you live, uh, the, the grippiest ones are the polished, the machine finished is in the middle, and then the sandblasted, sandblasted ones are, uh, I think, the smoothest uh, in terms of like not gripping to the fingers and stuff. So I, you know, it's, it's all super rainy here uh, where I live right now. And so I like the, I like the sandblasted one myself, but you know, again, aesthetics. I, I also like the fact that it's a bit of a darker color. I like the way the sandblasted finish ages. Right. Oh, what do we got? Let's see. Oh yeah. While well, I'm on the knuckle bones, we're going to this beautiful one here as well. So this is a uh, Zirkutai. We finally got a batch of these Zirkutai knuckle bones done again. And this might be the, the best finish that we've ever had on them. I'm, I'm really, really happy with them. It's a little bit of a darker finish, uh, but it's got very nice contrast. That's, you know, when you, when you buy the exotics, the Mokume and the Zirkutai, you really want that contrasting color. And I hope it shows up on the video here, but it's, it's just stunning on these guys. And, uh, yeah, it's been it's been a long time since we've had them in in our inventory, and I'm really happy to have them back. The machining is perfect, no uh, no issues whatsoever. The ends are like perfect, um, and you know I was just singing the praises of the the slim grip in the middle, but uh, the original you know I, just, like, this is the aesthetics of this. I just I it's so ergonomic and time tested, uh, and so I wasn't wasn't about to go with a new design on an exotic material. Got to go with go with the one that. Uh, you know, we, you know, it's not a, not a stretch to say we kind of built the company around it. It's like the Beglaria is still really popular, but Knuckle Bones is really like what made us into a, cup, a company that's not just a Beglaria company, right? Like this is really a, a major product for us. And uh, the fact that it was my own uh, creation as well as makes it kind of special for me. You know, Beglaria uh, obviously is something that existed outside uh, prior to Around Square, uh, uh, but the Knuckle Bones are legitimately an Around Square original. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? So I think that's actually it for new products for this month. We've got our our leaflet, uh, the difference between an orange. It's just uh, the final draft is almost done. Uh, I'm going to show you. Oh, geez. I, I just about forgot these guys. I'm actually super excited about this. This is a product that I actually came up with a design like probably almost 10 years ago. And it was just kind of like waiting in the wings for, uh, for an occasion where I felt like I, I was ready to launch it. And that occasion is this month. So basically, uh, it's like a jigsaw puzzle, uh, but there's a, a twist to it. We're calling it the anti-puzzle or contra. Uh, basically, the idea is that there's only four shapes of pieces inside the box, and there's five colors inside the box. So you're not like trying to build together perfectly, precisely somebody else's crusty old artwork. You're uh, you're taking the jigsaw kind of. Uh, methodology as as like a creative platform and you're building your own thing so you can really like build out in any shape any uh any size you can make like a long rectangle thing basically like a t-shape l-shape anything with uh right angles to it you can even put a square window inside your puzzle uh but you're basically uh, just building whatever you want looking for patterns or just something abstract and the colors are nice enough that even if you're just totally random the the color palette works really nicely and you end up with this like pretty creation that's uh that's your own so there's like lots of replay value with these because uh, you put it away, you build something new the next time. And uh, what else can I say? We've got uh, this uh, this kind of colorway here with turquoise and orange. We've also got a grayscale colorway. Um, I've been finding that it's actually really nice uh, building with like people of all ages, like young kids uh, that might get frustrated with, a, especially like an adult sized uh, jigsaw puzzle. They take forever to try and find one match. With something like this, they can, um, 
they, you know, it's just very rewarding and satisfying. They can take any two pieces and, and fit them together and they can just build their own thing alongside it. Like, uh, you know, spending, spending lots of time just like sitting around, uh, chit chatting and, and doing stuff together. It's kind of a nice family activity. Uh, good for, good for all ages. I get, I'm sure it's going to be like a controversial thing. Like, uh, some people are going to hate it. Uh, but I hope that everybody's at least like a little bit intrigued by it because it's, it's a lot of fun and it's, you know, it's a little bit different from anything we've, we've done before, but I'm, I'm excited about it. It's a little bit kind of like our deco blocks. It's a passion project, but something that I came up with that I really wanted to share with you all. So I hope you, you're into it. All right. Uh, I realize I've got a couple of last things here. I've got these beauties here. I just lost the battery on my light. So hopefully, uh, Hopefully everything is still plenty visible for you. Um, the Sigmas Bagleri have been one of our favorites for a long time, one of my personal favorites and like a favorite of a lot of players in the community. And we decided uh, that we should do, you know, give them a little bit of love and uh, we, we'd never offered them in other materials before. So we decided uh, we had some Altum left over from another project, decided to do some Sigmas uh, in Altum and pair them in a, like a three stack setup with a sandblasted titanium. It's a really nimble set, it's very light. It is elongated, uh, much like uh, the beads that we were launching last year, you know, like the Auroras, the Mangas and the Deltas. Uh, I, I've been loving that elongated shape on my Bagleri recently. And these are like, they're long, but they have like great control. And for stuff like bead rolls, it's kind of it's kind of amazing how they just walk through the fingers because the, the cord, the tension on the cord just kind of like, carries the bead through because there's just not very much inertia on them. So I, I, I find them really nice to play, nice clack and just like a fun lightweight set that's not punishing on the hands. Okay. Um, we have also, uh, starting from last month, we, we were doing this thing that, that I called the unknown. It was like this, uh, kind of a hidden project or product in the, in the library. You had to have a password to access it. This was what we did as the unknown in November of last year. Uh, and it was uh, just a, a handkerchief. It's like a, a user handkerchief. It's it's soft. It's like actually meant to be used as a handkerchief. It's not something that we've done with like, you know, printed broadcloth and like double layered and fancy stitching on the side that's uh, meant just to sit on a desk and use on Instagram. This is actually like a, like a proper handkerchief. It's very soft material. It just crunches up nicely in the product. It's nice and absorbent in the pot of pocket. <laughs> and it's nice and, nice and absorbent and... Uh, yeah, it's like it's like a proper handkerchief, and yeah. Anyways, it's no longer a hidden product on the website. It's going to be available during launch this month, and uh, so you'll have access to it if you didn't get the password last time. We are also uh, doing another hidden product this month. Give you a little sound test there. Uh, so it fits in my hand, obviously. Uh, and this is a uh, kind of a special one, and I hope you guys find it interesting. I'll have to figure out somewhere to hide the password for you guys, uh, but yeah, it should be should be a fun one. Um, while I'm here, a couple of little teasers. Uh, we've got the knife uh, that I've been teasing online for way too long is finally done production. We have them here, and we have the packaging here. So this will be uh, next month. While we were waiting for the knife, I uh, I found it so fun just to kind of like muck around with i was wondering about like you know what a blank would feel like and so i had this done up just on a whim and it's like surprisingly fun just to, like i mean it's not it's not easy to play with by any stretch but it's just kind of a, a nice object to have in the pocket or in the hand on the desk and i've i've been going crazy i got i got this one done up and then i was like i loving it so much so i had one done in altum and i had one done in ebony and I'm like, I'm trying to figure out what to do with it, but I think we may end up uh, making this into a product just because it's like, it's just very relaxing and it's like low stress because you're not trying to do any fancy tricks with it. Um, also, we just received our production batch of our leather foot bags. So I think I think I can say this time for sure, you know, uh, if you've been following closely, we had a failed production batch where basically we got them all and I was just like, I was so frustrated because they weren't good enough. Uh, so we like threw out the threw out everything. We went to a completely different supplier, different supplier for the leather, different supplier for the beads inside, uh, different process for manufacturing them. And I'm like I'm pretty amped. Uh, they I think they turned out great. I still need to check the quality of the production, but like the first few that I pulled out of the box look amazing. Um, got another set of uh, end beads. I'm not gonna give you a, a still photo to see what they are, but 
don't mind flipping them around a little bit. I freaking love them. Um, so check key is going to see a, a good boost, I think, this year, just because I've been like wanting to to go for the modularity of different pieces and different kinds of setups on the on the Remishocks. Um, yeah, and then I was like, I was all set to launch the Ebony version of our Dibulo uh, skill toy, mini Dibulo, uh, this month. And then we got uh, some samples of this cotton cord and I love the cotton cord so much that I had to postpone the launch. Uh, just got word that the uh, producer is gonna be able to do the co cotton cord for us like on a rush. Yeah, yeah, so we'll yeah. be able to launch these guys next month. I'm pretty sure assuming the production goes well. So yeah, lots to look forward to. I've got like, I've got other stuff. I'm not gonna tease it all, but uh, yeah, we've been going strong and uh, <laughs> follow me and try to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you guys. Okay, Give thanks so much. Space to breathe. Breathe. It's time to sow my seed the night, my queen. I'm living these broken dreams outspokenly with potent themes. Please approach me. For these streets are cold and mean. Let I paint the scene red, gold, and green. I agree.